Good evening and welcome to the Hot and Spicy. I hope uh, you've had a good week and uh, you're looking forward to the weekend. Have I forgot something in my head? I've forgotten. Oh yeah, my brain. That's it. I've been looking forward, waiting for you to come to it because this curry is a beef curry. Uh, a bit different because it's a, a non-waste curry, if that makes sense. What do you mean by that? Well, I'll tell you now. Let's bring that forward. Um, minced beef, ground beef. I had a bit of that left. There's some pieces of beef, diced beef I had left. So I've mixed the two together, so it's sort of a mince and beef pieces curry. Uh, trying a, a curry sauce I bought a couple of months ago. I forgot the name but now. It's meant to be a hot sauce. It's not hot, but it's, it's, it's okay. A bit oily though. I used that in this. Ginger, garlic, and a little uh, blender. I've got chopper. And I've um, in that I've put... Four bird's eye chilies, chopped up, half a teaspoon of that reaper powder, cook the curry, and then let it overnight. Today, when I warmed it up, I put a fresh scotch bonnet in it, which you'll see maybe in a bit of red in there. So that's a fresh chopped, you know, it's not been cooked, so that'll be hot. These are fries. If you remember a couple of hot and spices ago, I said I'm going to do curry and chips instead of curry and rice. So this is it, curry and fries. We've got some pizza, um, garlic and herb, garlic and butter and herb flatbread, which is in a pizza shape, and some poppadoms. And the drinks of choice, we've got some uh, Boss Brewing, Welsh beer, Hiraith, 5% Welsh gold nail. We'll start with that now. And after that, this is another one I love this. Witchwood Brewery. What do you think you are, real? King Goblin, Imperia. Imperia? It might be, it's Imperial on there. 6.6%. So, uh, a couple of them, and you ta start talking rubbish. You do that anyway. Sorry. Oh. Don't mess with Texas today. Here we go. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. I think this curry is going to bite. Four finger chilies, which are hot. And it's only one portion. There's no portions in the freezer. Half a teaspoon of the Reaper and a fresh Scotch bonnet. So it's very... Um, what's the word? Compacted, so it's. Whew. Cheers. Oh man! Come on, let's take it on. Ready for anything now? Okay. And you. I've left the windows open here, so bear with me one minute. And we're back, okay. And um, somebody else has been punching about. Right, I've got knife and fork. So we'll use them for now. Now we'll use a spoon after. I need to try this beef. Yep. Ooh, tender. There's the powder. Oh, it bites. That's lovely. Um, it's not too... It's, I think it looks more oily than it tastes. It's not too oily. Mm. Very posh, this, isn't it? Wow, that is hot. Whew. Bring it on. Mm. So how's the weekend then? So far. I've got to say we've had a... Oh, this is hot. Whew. A reasonably hot then. Uh, hot. Yeah. A sunny day. Um, a few showers in between. Which uh, were heavy. 
But for March, can't complain. Mm. Oh, yeah. I keep my towel under here, ready. So, um, what's on the menu? <coughs> Of which I may say sounds absolutely stunning to some of you. So tell me, and thanks to Paul for the photos on you sent me. I may not look here, but that camera is quite far away, I can't reach the pace. Mm. Someone said, I know your channel. You're overdoing the bread a bit. Crunchy. <laughs> I do it like that on purpose. Because uh, Mrs. H says, Oh, you've overdone it. It's not, it's, it's you know, it's, but I like the crunch with it. It's a unique way of doing it. Mmm. This is a, this is a belter, this. It's like a lot of heat, but in a small space. Gives a, whew, gives a good kick. This is a sort of mince bit, ground beef. Looking forward to this all day. Oh, man. I gotta say that sauce is nice. But I'm gonna do this heat with my next lamb curry. Whew. Sweating cobs here. Well, that's a good sign. That's what I want. Burning. Let's have a pop it on. What's on your menu then? Have I asked you that? Not like me to repeat myself, is it? I've got a joke for you. Not that you'll laugh. Um, but I can't, I've, I've said it on my other channel, but I can't remember if I've said it on here. So you may have heard it. <sighs> Married couple at home. And if I have said it, I'm sorry. There's a married couple and they're sitting at home. And uh, his wife says, uh, I've got an appointment in the hairdressers today. So what sort of cut would make me look better? He said a power cut. <laughs> I might have told you that, have I? I've said it on the other channel, but not. Mm. Oh, fresh, got. I've got to say, it's a unique but lovely addition, the fresh chilli, uncooked. It's only heated, chopped finely and heated in, for, you know, for a few minutes till the curry's heat. So it's basically um, still fresh, it's crunchy, but the kick. How many people pause this video to go and get something to eat? <laughs> it's 
Excuse me. Or, as with those that know me well, I follow regular. That's gorgeous. Follow me regular. We'll know. Uh, we'll get stuff in. Eat together, don't we? It's a good drink there. He right. Yeah. Eating with a knife and fork and still making a mess on my mouth. Nice change actually the the um addition of the chips. Korean chips there. Wow. Curry and fry. What else has been happening? Oh, Mrs. H saved me the other morning. On my way to work. I was just going on along um, the bypass, this bypass. Um, well, before the bypass, on my car, a notification came on the dash in red. What did it say? Alternator. Ah, oh, so here we go, what's the matter now? So I'm driving along, <coughs> lights were dim, so I thought it's not charging. I went a few miles, and all of a sudden I could feel it. It's going to cut out and because it's an automatic you can't push it and it's too heavy for me to push on my own so I pushed put on the luckily there was a big grass bank you know verge so I pulled onto that off the road I had to phone Mrs. Eight so she rescued came to the saved my uh, saved the day and took me to work and then there, the garage I use for my for the car maintenance and repairs. I borrowed a car battery off them, and um, went back to my car, connected the new battery with some jump leads to my battery on the car because it wasn't charged. And that started the car, and there was enough power to get me to this garage, or garage, however you say. And um, it turned out, I thought it might be a new alternator, but it was, uh, it's, um, the belt has snapped on the alternator, so that'll be less expensive. So that should be, I should have a ready on Monday or Tuesday nothing worse especially that time in the morning but it makes it Makes a change, doesn't it? Something different. <laughs> mm. Don't know what to go for next. I recommend trying a fresh chilli on it. Well, it depends if you like heat. Maybe not a Scotch bonnet, but uh, go for a. Maybe a bird's eye chilli. Some of these, uh, there are some chilies out. I'm not sure. I'm not having them. Oh, they're only a two chilli rating in the supermarkets, but they're, they're quite that size. Um, maybe you could put a couple of them on. They're not hot. Well, I don't find them hot. 
with a very nice addition, tasty. As you know, lamb is my favourite, but chicken's nice, obviously, um, beef, and because I've not had this for a while, and there's something about not wasting things, which, um, I don't know, makes it taste better as well, but <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's worked well. If you want the burn, you come to the right place. And it's funny, in this one, it's making me sweat more. Some curries make my nose run, not sweat as much. So maybe different chilies. work in us differently maybe you know we all think it's chili it's heat and that's it but maybe they do each chili wow does work differently Did I tell you I was uh, power washing the, um, it shouldn't do this by the way, just easy, all the um, patio area and uh, it's mostly done now, just a piece at the side but um, there's a little at the end of this, it's what I call, a, a, it's a karcher power wash and in the end of the lance, which is called the dirt buster, and it spins. Well, it stops spinning. And what it is, that there's a little sort of plastic thing in the in the in it, in the cone, with a ball bearing. And this water is under such pressure, it spins this thing, which gives it this, you know. Anyway, that stops spinning. So I undone it. Thought it needed cleaning, but it's actually worn. So, I watched a video on YouTube on it, some chap repairing his, and you just put a very small, tiny washer inside to bring it up again, the ball bearing, to a you know, better height, and it should work. So, the, they should arrive, they may arrive tomorrow from Amazon. Sometimes um, Royal Mail or a courier or Amazon themselves will bring it, you know. When I'm cooking the Sunday dinner, oh, Sunday dinner, yeah. Good link that. Um, lamb chops tomorrow. I've got four of them, but I'll probably do two. Something about meat on the bone. Anyway. Lamb chops, um, I'll steam some potatoes, I've got some carrots, broccoli. There is cabbage there, I might do a bit of each, or I might just stick to the carrots and broccoli, I'm not sure yet. Um, oh, and Lashento is a gravy, of course. Has to be done. Nose. Excuse me a minute. That does it for me. Sweating, nose running. I know I'm having a good heat for me. So as I say, there's um, four bird's eye chilies in there. Half a teaspoon of that reaper powder, that's strong. Um, and then this fresh um, scotch bonnet so there's a lot of condensed that's what I mean, condensed heat in it well I'm make a mess now 
Wait a minute. Let me just let me get this thing. Can you see the red chilies on that? How many there are? I don't know if you can see it on here. But um, there's a good few there. In the yard. Seeds and all. Right. But time's ticking on. Um, finish this slowly. Um, actually, the amount is just right because I, in my stomach now, I can. I think, and yeah, I'll just manage that. Maybe a couple. This, maybe another half pop it on. And then I'll wash it down with some of that um, as I prepare this video for your watching. Pleasure. Well, I hope it's pleasure. Otherwise, no point of it. Mm. Yeah, so no um, relaxing day tomorrow. Cooking. Uh, eating. I got a couple of beers as well, a couple more down there, and um, that's it. If you follow me on Paul H Films, I'll see you in the morning. Um, I'm doing a request shave. Only just had the request actually, but um, I've got something arrived this week from a company that contacted me about it. And um, I don't actually say yes to everything now. If I don't really agree with it, or it's not, I think it's not for me. Because sometimes a company will send you something that's not, how can I put it? They're not actually, they just want the, um, what's the word? God, I can't think tonight. Too much of this. Too hot. <laughs> um, exposure, they just want the exposure on the channel advertisement I suppose because some things they ask you to send you I think well it's not related to really to shaving um, so I decline them uh, you know so but this I, I took it on because I thought you know I like the way the owner sort of said why they're doing it so um, there's a couple of videos I think a few people as soon as they have these new things have put their videos straight out so I don't want to be doing that as well because I've said it before if subscribers they might be sub to me and to other people on this other channel I mean and then we're all doing the same thing over a couple of days you can get a bit monotonous kind of for the viewer because I view videos as well so I know what it's like you know making them and watching them so so I'm going to use that on Wednesday, give it a few days break and then um, I might bore it. <laughs> YouTube life that is. Um, and I love every minute of it. So I'll finish this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the morning on there if you follow me. If not, I'll see you in the next one. Take care of yourselves. Have a great weekend. If you're having anything, enjoy it. Have a great weekend. Yeah, stay safe. And I'll see you. Oh, good timing again. And I'll see you in the next video. All the best. Bye-bye.